it's kind of hard to uh, to quantify because the it's like like if I remember like when I when I first wrote the the spec pilot for the uh, for the series the you know it's like I always write with you know sort of like a, a conception in mind of like who the actor or actress you know might be for it um, and you know so um, so Kirsten. You know, the, you know, the name, you know, I, got, I picked the name Kirsten because I was thinking of uh, uh, Kirsten Stewart, right? So, you know, so it's like, okay, it'd be that kind of, because you're kind of cool and removed, that was a whole the temple dysplasia days, right? So there was, so there was, uh, so that was very specific, you know, her name because of who I had in mind, not as, as the actual actress for the, the part, but as the type. And then Cameron, Cameron was just you know, like every, every man, you know? Um, you know, and uh, so there was nobody specific you know, that I could think of for him. But what, what happened is that as, as soon as as soon as the casting process got locked in and people started playing the roles, I, I, I no longer I can't I can't, I, I can't separate out like who the who the the cat the character is separate from the actor or the actress, right? It's like you know there, there's there's no place in my mind where you know where. Fisher existed and did, and was not Damon, you know, or Ivy existed and was not Sarah or Linus or you know, Kyle or Anna. You know, it's like that. That's just who they are. So like, even if I if I go back now and I read my original original spec pilot that was written before there was any casting, before there was anything, I'll read it and it's you know it's these faces in there. There's no you know, there's no separation. So it's like you know it's like they they became the part. You know, it's like retroactively in my brain. And you know, and you know, kind of like you know, both ways on it. We have.